Hello, boys and girls. My name is C and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time we left off here at the uh, upper end, where we have a second cooling setup nearly completed. We only need a bit more uh, water in here so we can close off and start cooling the polluted water down. And then I also started to plan out um, some battery placement here on this side as well as some cooling wiring. And I guess that's where we will continue. Uh, you can see there is this loop from the uh, rightmost pump that's for the batteries and then we have two more because uh, this one that's for the uh, actual cooling of the water and this one goes up here and that's for cooling all our instruments and machines that we will be placing up here so um, I guess with that we can extend this isolated pipe um, to here. The wiring here is uh, complete, so we do not have too much going on on this one, which means we can also extend it up. So, um, not the, the heavy watt wire, just the conductive one. And we will need it here on this level. And we will also have to uh, put the heavy watt wire further up. Uh, because uh, somewhere down here we will have uh, additional transformers because we cannot power all the uh, bunker doors with just one conductive wire. One of these uh, takes 120 watt. That means uh, I think it's 16 or 17 that I can hook up to one conductive wire. And of course the first one uh, will have a bit less because we also have uh, a few things uh, down here on it. So hopefully my duplicates will work on this and then there is still the problem with the iron volcano where the hydrogen is too hot or this room up here is too hot in order for uh, uh, the, uh, the steam turbines to properly work so currently I'm in the process of uh, cooling this down and down here we have too much pressure so we do not get any new iron out of it. Yeah. 
we are quite a bit power hungry. Uh, you can see that when the co-generators are running. And as we only get pet petrol for bees, uh, when we actually uh, manually uh, operate those, that's not an ideal setup. But soon, when we manage to uh, complete the setup up here, um, we should be okay with uh, having uh, solar panels up here. And that should give us quite a bit of uh, energy reserve. But we need to make sure that we have also the batteries for it um, because uh, the sun is not shining the whole cycle through but there is basically day and night so when the sun is not shining uh, no solar power coming in and we have to ensure that we can bridge that uh, this time um, with, the, with the power stored plus the power that we generate then there. Um, I think we can close up uh, here. down here on the uh, inside to keep a look on the uh, errands that uh, I am adding and removing and as you can see uh, if this number here is positive uh, I am adding more work for the duplicants than they can work on so we'll have to take it easy so that they can uh, finish the errands. Uh, those are not just uh, uh, building stuff, digging out stuff, but also uh, the, the things that uh, come with uh, periodicity. So every cycle or so, like harvesting, uh, uh, singing, animals and things like that. Our copper supply is going down but there is still a bit of copper lying around in this world so we can dig out more but as copper is a finite resource unless we, uh, we uh, produce it with our hatches it's not an ideal source of power and that's also why I want to uh, go into the direction of solar power to become independent of coal and other forms of energy that are a bit fickle especially if you have high power needs I mean if worse comes to worse we can turn off these two um, machines which are quite power hungry thereby uh, save a bit of uh, energy 
but I think we are still good. How are we doing here in the uh, refinery? Bit more iron. Uh, we can queue up more. And steel. Yeah, probably the, the lime. That's that's the bottleneck that we will hit soon but let's queue up more in this area we need to have visibility for the for the space scanner and the telescope um, which is for to this side I think we can start with um, uh, with some uh, um, some solar panels here on this side so let's start with digging out this part that's all on the, the bunk doors so we should be uh, safe from uh, additional uh, debris coming from above and then can uh, start uh, placing our first solar panels up here. The nice thing with the solar panels is that they can actually uh, float in space, so they do not need placed on the floor. Can we get this done, please? Also, up, up this water here and this water. Temperatures up here are going down nicely. However, here temperature is okay, but the uh, the, the pressure is way too high. That's that's no good. And over here our crude oil just fills up. So I think we can disable those for now. Until we have consumed a bit of the uh, of the uh, oil that's sitting around there. to work okay yeah 
down here we have cold biome that's still cold all the water that flows in here freezes we store a bit of gas which is nice Plastic is also on the rise again. So, once that uh, goes further up, I think we can continue uh, the, uh, the pipe up here. Um, probably I will go up on this side and then have a station somewhere there. Nice! Work is being completed. That was probably not enough water. Yeah. That will not survive such tiny amounts. Well, at least more water is coming. Maybe I should set the priority here on this bit. That job gets done. Then eventually I want to have a, a vole farm. So uh, what's their temperature range? Okay, it's quite wide. Um, so I think we are fine placing their ranch anywhere. And what we will feed them is regolith uh, and they will basically diminish the amount of regolith by half but um, they are a perfect or they are a great um, meat source problem with them is they can dig 
um, through almost any material save steel well there are ways around uh, you can place them basically on an island that they cannot leave but the duplicates can jump over um, that will work but as they um, feed on, uh, on uh, dropped uh, regoliths and produce solid uh, blocks um, we will have to take care to mine those out again looking here yeah looks like work is getting done yeah piecemeal of water supplied here That's probably the reason. You have to enable auto bottling so they can uh, use the pitch pump to uh, fetch any real amount of water, otherwise, it will only be the water that they mopped out somewhere. Now we should soon see someone getting to do it. Yeah. Catalina is already on it. But that was a small amount once again, but she is fetching more. So I actually want to uh, finish this part of the project in this episode, so uh, that's why this one might be a bit longer. But now that I have figured out what uh, the problem was, uh, we should actually see the amount of water I'm aiming for pretty soon. Okay, they are handing it over from one duplicate to the next. Now it's with uh, Jean. And we can have a look at what we have in here. Yeah, let's, let's take the water. Maybe that will also help. almost and now it's probably with a new one yeah it's with Camille once again you can do it come on Yeah, that was a 200 kilogram bottle that brings us above the 200 kilograms per tile. Means we can finally close this up. And then next time 
we can start the, the cooling loop and cool um, all this this water down to nice frosty temperatures so join me then for that see you